Hello and welcome to my video today. This is a part two video. Last time I showed how to try to silence the ADAS fan that's inside the car in this area right here. What I did is I disconnected a fuse in the cabin fuse box. However, it didn't help my situation. Maybe other people have had more luck with that. But in today's video, I'm gonna show two other ways of silencing the fan. One is opening up the cover where the fan is located, disconnecting the wire and reconnecting it. Though I, from what I've heard, that is not really effective, but I still wanted to show the method in case people are interested. And the one that definitely fixes the issue is using the CAN bus in resetting the DTCs. And that is, um, one that's a little bit more involved and I'll show you that whole process. So let's get started. I am sitting in the passenger seat of my Fisker Ocean. This is the panel that we're going to be removing to access the fan underneath. This panel is split into two and we're going to be removing the right hand side. There are a number of clips holding it in place. There are three in the center and there are two on the sides. And I'm going to try to remove it right now. I'm going to try to unclip the center and then slide it towards the right. We'll see how that works. First time doing it. I recommend using plastic pry bars of these kind of design. Any of these probably should work. I'm going to take the plastic pry bar and insert it right here. I'm going to now push towards the right. I think I got one already disconnected here. So let me try pushing it. And yes, I've disconnected the two that are on this side. And now I'm going to look and see how to disconnect these guys here. All right, I got this piece loose here. And then I'm just going to remove it. This happens to be the wire for my dash cam, so I'm just gonna leave that off to the side so it's not in the way. And here's a closer look at the ADAS module. We have the fan right here. We have the connector right here. This tab up here needs to be pushed down and then the whole plug can be pulled out this way. So even if you take this plug out and reinsert it, some people recommend even uh, leaving it out overnight and then reinserting it. It really doesn't help. The fan will stay on. I just want to show this method just in case you want to access this area, but it isn't a valid way to turn off the fan. So, yep, that's kind of a bummer, but uh, I'm going to now show you the uh, third method, which is the one that will work hopefully the best. At this point, we can reassemble the cover. You can place it over the opening here, like this, and it will snap into place with the other pieces, as you can see, and then it will snap into the connector right here and here. 
and then you can push it back into place. So the pieces just snap together. Just make sure you align these two clips with the clip in the center and then they should all fall into place as you push it up. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do to clear the DTCs that are affecting the fan and keeping it on. So you need to purchase these items. The first one is a pecan tool. I purchased this one on AliExpress and what this does is it connects to the CAN system of the car. At one end you have a USB-A plug that connects into a laptop and the other end we have an RS-232 port, female port, and this will be connected to the other items I'm going to show you coming up. Next I got this cable. It's actually a combination of two things. It's an OBD2 connector on this side which is also known as a 16 pin J1962 connector and this on the other end of this is just wires so what I did is I connected the wires to this breakout box and this is an RS-232 breakout box and inside of this are two connections and I'll show those up on the screen the first is the CAN L, which is pin 14 on this connector, and it connects to pin 2 on this connector. And on the cable, it's a green white wire. The second one is pin 6 on the OBD2, will connect to pin 7 on the RS232 connector. And that is a green wire on this cable. I suggest using a multimeter to make sure that the connections are good for those two. Check the pins 14 and 2 and then 6 and 7. Once that's working you can connect this to the PCAN device and it's simply pushing the male and female RS-232 connectors together and then screwing this together so this stays as one unit. Then this can be connected to the car and this to the laptop and we can get started. Next part I'm going to show you the software. On the laptop what I am going to do is go to this link on the screen. It will download a zip file remove the exe file from it and that's what we're going to be doing so we are going to install the driver right now double click on it yes go to next accept next install All right, it is now done. The next thing we need is a program called PCAN View Tool, and we get that by going into Program Files, scrolling down to we see Peak System, click on Peak Drivers, click on Tools, and then we see it right here. I created a shortcut on the Windows desktop for this. So I am going to show you how that works right now going to click on it and here is what the program looks like. At this point we can go into the car, connect the cable to the OBD port and get started. So I put the laptop on the taco tray and I am now going to attach the OBD2 port Let's put that in here. It is attached. 
Then I take the other end and insert it into the laptop. So everything is connected. I am now going to start the Pecan View app. Gonna click on OK. In the menu, go to transmit new message. And we're going to type in under the ID section, we're going to type in 7DF, 7DF. Triple check all your entries just to make sure. For data, we're going to do 04, 14, FF, 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 CC. C, 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 C. So I'm going to verify 0414 FF, 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 C, 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 C. Then I'm going to press OK. And space. Oh my gosh. That did it. The fan has stopped. Everything else seems to be good. So at this point, I can shut off the software, disconnect the USB and the OBD2 port, and I'm all set. As easy as that. OK, well, that's about it. The fan is now silenced. If you ever do have the fan running continuously again, you can always run the PCAN program again with the USB and the laptop and just do a reset on the DTCs. Not a problem. Hopefully, it won't happen again for a while. And as I mentioned, I went through my first 16 months without having the fans go off at all. So there you go. So I want to reiterate to be super careful when you're doing the connections for the PCAN tool and the wiring in the RS-232 device. Make sure that those connections are good. Use a multimeter to verify those two connections. And that's half the battle. The second is when you do the software, make sure you type it exactly as the instructions show so that there's no chance of any mistakes. And then that's it. So you disconnect it and you're all set. So I hope this has been a useful video for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.